everybody is asking me if they should buy a house right now. Stay tuned because how I answer that question might surprise you. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha, a local realtor in the North Atlanta market. And every time I meet somebody, once I say that I'm in real estate or that I'm a realtor, the first comment they make or the first question they usually ask goes something like this. Wow, I hear the real estate market's on fire and interest rates are so low right now. You know, I was thinking about buying my first house. Should I? Is now a good time? Now, because I'm a real estate salesperson, the answer that most people think I'm going to say is, yes, absolutely. Go out, buy a house. Let me sell you a house. Let's go look at houses right now. And the reality is that is not how I answer them. You see, I don't think it's such a clear cut yes or no on whether or not somebody should buy a house. So I followed up with a series of questions. I asked things about their living situation, their current employment situation, and their current financial situation. Because how they answer on some of those key points will determine whether or not it really is the right time for them to buy a house. So let me give you a few examples. I asked them what their current living situation is like. Do they currently own a home? Are they renting or do they live with family? Have they ever lived on their own? You see, if you are currently a homeowner or if you've owned homes in the past, then you fully understand the expectations and responsibilities of owning a home. However, if you are a first-time home buyer, maybe you're renting or you're living with family, you've never actually lived on your own before, you may not fully understand or comprehend the responsibilities that come with home ownership. So I think the first thing is to understand whether or not you are prepared for the responsibilities of owning a home. For example, if the roof leaks or the plumbing breaks or there's a problem with electrical, you don't have anybody else to rely on to get it fixed but you. Are you fully prepared to take on that responsibility? If you answered yes, then you're ready to own a home. If you answer no, maybe because you're still living with family, if you've never lived on your own, then I might suggest you rent for a little while to get a full taste of what it's like living on your own. What is your financial situation like? Do you have money saved up for a down payment and closing costs? If you do not have any money in the bank, no money for a down payment, no money for closing costs, um, then you might want to reconsider whether or not it's the right time to purchase a home. You might want to have some money saved up. Yes, there are 100% financing options out there. If you're a veteran, you want to utilize a VA loan, by all means, go ahead. There's also USDA loans, and there might be some other loan programs out there that I'm not aware of. But even in a 100% financing um, you know, loan, you still might want to think about having some money saved up in the bank so that you can take care of those homeowner responsibilities that I just mentioned earlier. You know, you can get 100% financing where you're not bringing any money to the table to close. However, if in the first week of you owning the home, if the roof does start leaking and you have zero reserves or zero money in the bank to fix it, well, then you're really not in a good position. So you got to first make sure you have money for your down payment and closing costs. And then the other aspect of financials that you want to review is do you have stable and reliable income? Now, I know no job is 100% guaranteed. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you believe that you have some stability in your employment and you have very little debt or even no debt, then you're in a strong financial position to purchase a home. If you fall into that category, then I strongly recommend talking to a lender about your financial situation. Now, if you're carrying a ton of debt and your income or your employment is not stable, you're at risk of losing it at any time, then it may not be in your best interest to purchase a home right now. And honestly, you may not even be able to qualify to purchase one. So you may want to reevaluate how you can get your financial and your income situation in a better situation in order to purchase in the future. Another thing I like to discuss with them that not everybody thinks about is whether or not they plan on moving in the near future or in the far future. Now, of course, things happen in life that can change those plans. I'm a perfect example. I never thought I'd move to Georgia. Here I am. But do you think, at least for the foreseeable future, you plan on moving or do you really plan on staying put? If your job and your income and everything is stable, you're not in a company or a position that relocates people frequently, and you plan on staying in your immediate area, at least for the next foreseeable future, the next few years, then purchasing a home might be a good idea. Instead of investing in rent that you never isn't really an investment, you never get the money back, you want to put that money towards an investment of owning a home since you don't plan on leaving. However, if you are in a job or a profession where relocating a lot is very likely, then you might want to reconsider whether or not purchasing a home is a smart decision. Right now, it is a strong seller's market and home prices are on the rise, but that's not always going to be the case. So if you purchase a home today, 
and you, let's say, get relocated in six months, you have to think about whether or not you'd be able to resell the home again only six months later. Or if you don't want to sell the home, could it be turned into an investment property? So if you do have moving in your near future, there are options for you if you do purchase, but it is just another layer, another thing to discuss before you actually go through the process of purchasing a home. And of course, in reference to today's market and what's happening right now, there's so many people that have left um, big cities and moved to more suburban areas or further away, you know, extending their commuter times because they're working from home. Now, some of those professions and those jobs and those companies are going to allow those employees to continue to work from home permanently. And there are others that while they thought it might be permanent, have actually changed their mind and are eventually going to want everybody to come back and work from the office. So it's important to understand what your situation is in today's world, because if you relocate out of the city and you just took your commute time from 20 minutes to an hour and a half, because you were working from home and now you can't work from home anymore and you have to commute, you have to think about how that's going to affect you in the future and whether or not buying is the right decision for you. And the last thing to think about when you're deciding whether or not it's the right time for you to buy or not is do you have what it takes to survive in today's market? Like I mentioned in this video and all my other videos, you know, you have to have thick skin. You've got to make quick decisions. You've got to be, you know, sure about what you want. You have to be able to go see the house immediately. You have to make yourself available and flexible. You may have to compromise on some things that you didn't think in the beginning. And all of it is exhausting and emotional. And there's a lot of buyers out there that are really, this process is just breaking them down. So if you want to be a buyer in today's market, you have have to understand what's going on, how to prepare, be prepared, and then stick with it. Because the buyers that are persevering in this market are coming out on top. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. You know, I really enjoy making these videos for you. So if you have an idea for a future video or a question or concern, especially as it relates to the market that we're in right now, please leave it in the comment section below. And of course, good luck. As I've said in my last two videos, good luck to all you buyers out there. If you're out there shopping right now, it is super tough. So I wish you all the very best of luck. I'll see you next week.